Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to get the free Community Ocean project updated to the latest version of Unreal Engine version 4.25. The Community Ocean is a free infinite ocean and includes buoyancy, buoyancy actors, as well as boat controllers. So you can basically have a massive open world map and sail from one side to the other. It's even replicated for multiplayer. Updates for this project have been discontinued, so that's why I'll be showing you how to update it to the latest version of Unreal Engine by ourselves. The first things that you will need to do is to get Visual Studio 2017 Community version. If you've already downloaded Visual Studio, and if you already compiled the Unreal Engine from the source, then you can go ahead and just skip this part and move on. But if you haven't, you want to go to, to Microsoft's website right here and download Visual Studio 2017 and then go ahead and install it. Alright, once you have the Visual Studio installer up, you want to install certain components here to allow us to compile Unreal Engine. So what you'll need here is game development with C++. You want to go ahead and check that. You also want some individual components here the Unreal Engine Installer, Nugget Package Manager, and then you might also need some of these .NET frameworks. Don't worry too much about this, later it'll tell us which one we need to go back and get. So, so now we can go ahead and download Unreal Engine from the source and build it. Go ahead and go to github.com slash epic games slash Unreal Engine. Alright, we can go ahead and download the 4.25 branch and download it as a zip. Once you finish downloading that, you can go ahead and extract the file you want to take the folder that you've extracted and drag it into your C drive. The reason why we're doing this is basically you need to have a short path or else you'll get an error. Go ahead and click the setup.bat file. What it's going to go ahead and do is download and install all the prerequisites. So it'll just take a while. You just want to click yes to all the settings. All right, and just heads up, you might get a few errors here telling you to go and install a few things in Visual Studio. So once that's done, you can go ahead and run the generate project files.bat. That will generate all the project files, and that should only take a couple minutes. Once that's finished, we will see this ue4.sln file. Go ahead and right click that file and click open with Visual Studio 2017. Once Visual Studio loads up, you'll see you'll see Unreal Engine right here. Basically you want to build Unreal Engine, so you want to change this right here to development editor and then the solution platform to Win64. Then click on UE4 right here, right click and click build. All right, so once we're building this, it'll take anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes. Depends on your computer setup. All right, so once it's finished building, you can go ahead and close this. All right, next up, you want to go ahead and download the Community Ocean project from GitHub as well. Links in the description. Just go ahead and clone and download the legacy version right here for 4.22. And then go ahead and extract the files. Then what you want to do is right click this project file right here switch version make sure you select for unreal engine the source version that we just built so it's the one that you put in your c drive all right next you can go ahead and right click the .sln file and open that with visual studio all right so once that's open you can make sure that you also have that set up to the development editor and win64 and then you can right click the ocean project right here and click build once we click the build, it's going to give us a couple errors here. We're just going to go ahead and work through these errors. All right, as we can see here, we have a few errors. So first we can see right here, U actor component, BL, B is active, cannot access, private member declared. So we can go ahead and fix these real quick. Go ahead and click on here. What you want to do is change this. Okay, you just want to place it with is active, delete the B, type in is active and then put the parentheses and do that for both and then go ahead and click on the other one change the same thing here okay and then we can go ahead and build it again as you can see those two are fixed okay next up we have to fix right here command line is too long to fit in the debug record so what you want to do is go ahead and open up the ocean plugin build.cs. To open that up, you just have to go into the project right here, search up ocean plugin.build.cs. Double click that, it'll open up right here. 
go to anywhere between these lines right here and, and go ahead and paste, copy and paste this code. The code here will be in the description, so just go ahead and copy paste that right there. So now we can just go ahead and right click, click build. All right, and as you can see, all of that is good to go. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and click debug right here. Make sure that's development editor, 164, ocean project, click debug, start debugging. What this is going to do is to start building this. We'll start loading the project. You're gonna get this message right here, ocean plugin is incompatible. Attempt to load it anyway, just click yes. All right, and then you're gonna see right here, it's gonna start compiling all the shaders, and it's gonna take a while for it to open up. Basically, you want it to just let it run. It might take anywhere from like, again, 20 minutes. And then once it's finished compiling shaders here, it's gonna pop up right here. And then this will also compile shaders, so it might take, you know, an extra 10 or so minutes. We can go ahead and go down to our scene here. And then as you can see, the ocean is all black. So to go ahead and fix that real quick, what you wanna do is just click on the ocean, click on here, edit ocean BP. It'll open it up, just snap this to the top, shift, select ocean plane, underside and top side. Okay, so select those, and then go in here to the details and search render in depth pass. Go ahead and uncheck that box, compile, save, and then we can go back into here and you can see the ocean looks completely fine. Okay, so we can go ahead and click play, then we can go ahead and run around our little level here. As you can see, the lighting is really bright, so you can go ahead and just adjust all the lighting settings and all that. But as you can see, everything is working here. The buoyancy is all working. Controllers here are all working for all the boats. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, if you guys have any more questions, any more problems, leave it down in the comments below. Big shout out to Script in the UE4 Ocean Project Discord for showing us how to do this. Also, you guys can join the official Ocean Project Discord. Links in the description where you can also ask questions if you have any trouble or any problems with it. See what other people have done with the Ocean Project. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe for more future tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.